Mr. McDermott. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As I listen to this discussion, I like to remind everyone what we're talking about here. None of your organizations were kept from organizing or silenced. We are talking about whether or not the American taxpayers will subsidize your work. We're talking about a tax break. If you didn't come in and ask for this tax break, you would have never had a question asked of you. You could go out there and say anything you want in the world. Now, I get the feeling that many of you and my Republican colleagues just don't believe or you believe you should be free from political targeting, but that you should be from free from any scrutiny at all. Without oversight, a status meant for chatter charities <clears throat> becomes a machine for political money laundering. If you think that's far-fetched, you ought to talk to Speaker Gingrich. Speaker Gingrich in 1997 was fined $300,000 by the Ethics Committee of the House of Representatives for funneling money from the ALF, the American, uh, the Abraham Lincoln Opportunity Fund, into GOPAC, of which he was chairman, to promote the takeover of the House and arouse Republican activists. Each of your groups is highly political, from opposing the president's health care reform to a abortion restrictions to gay marriage, you are all entrenched in some of the most controversial political act issues in the country. And with your applications, you are asking the American public to pay for that work. The Republicans were looking for a conspiracy where there isn't one. Mr. Issa says he can feel it in his gut that someone's broken the law. Now you just ask yourself which is more likely, that a mid-level Employees overwhelmed by four times as many applications as before made stupid, irresponsible shortcuts, or that a, there's an administration-wide plot to take down community organizers. Anything else, like the circus that's happening in the Oversight Committee or here, is simply political theater. It is diverting attention from what we ought to be doing on this committee, is rewriting the law if it's wrong. All right, thank you. Time's expired. Mr. Ryan is recognized. <laughs> um, I'm going to deviate from my original question uh, in response to what I just heard. Uh, you know, um, Mr. Chairman, what, Mr. Chairman, the, the, the well, welcome to Washington. Order. The committee will be in order. Uh, Ryan has the time. We heard Gingrich. We heard Bush. Mr. Chairman, we had. The former IRS Commissioner Shulman, who knew about the political targeting long before Congress was told, since implied that the organizations were responsible for the targeting because they chose to apply for tax-exempt status. So you're to blame, I guess, is the message here. Do you think that you are targeted based upon your political beliefs, your religious beliefs, or just because you chose to apply? Our beliefs, our views. We had the acting commissioner Miller here a couple of weeks ago and we asked him did groups with the word organizing or progressive in their name were they targeted the answer was no we do know for a this is one of the facts we now know people were singled out because of their beliefs 